So Google has promised that its new Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL smartphones boast some of the best mobile camera tech around, quite the boast for sure, especially as they both rock a single lens snapper which can't quite keep up with the likes of the Huawei P20 Pro and its slightly bonker tri-lens camera tech. Of course more doesn't necessarily mean better, so did the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL stand up tall against the P20 Pro despite the lack of lenses? And also despite sporting the same camera specs as last year's Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, are the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL actually better? Well, I took all of these lovely smartphones out and about in London to test for sure the photo and video chops of the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL compared with the P20 Pro and last year's Pixel Tech. So here's my full camera comparison and don't forget for more on the Pixels and all of the greatest new mobile tech to hit that subscribe button and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, a quick look at those sexy specs. Both the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL sport the same camera hardware, a 12.2 megapixel single lens camera with an f1.8 aperture and a bit of OIS built in for good measure. That's the same basic specs as last year's Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Meanwhile the P20 Pro couldn't be more different if it tried. You get a mighty 40 megapixel RGB lens with an f1.8 aperture backed by a 20 megapixel monochrome lens with f1.6 aperture. Still not enough? Well how about an 8 megapixel telephoto lens too then eh? With three times optical zoom and OIS built in. Now for everyday shots taken on the default settings I found that I got similar detail levels in my photos taken on all of these handsets. Basically the shots are perfectly crisp even when cast to a 50 inch telly, so definitely no complaints there. Although of course you do have the option of snapping 40 megapixel photos on the P20 Pro if you bump it all the way up. Definitely great if for whatever crazy reason you decided to do a slideshow of your holiday photos on your local IMAX. Colours can be accurately captured by all of these handsets, while the P20 Pro also offers the option of more vivid hues which can really bring even a drab scene to life. Now this feature seems to have been tempered somewhat with various camera updates, so naturally vibrant subjects no longer look nauseatingly artificial. Now let's get this out of the way right now. Shots taken with the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 2 across all kinds of conditions more or less look identical. So if you're thinking of upgrading from the Pixel 2 to the Pixel 3 just because of the camera tech, oh, we'd say don't bother. That said, I did occasionally notice some more attractive hues on shots taken with the Pixel 3 compared with the Pixel 2. There appears to be a slight artificial boost in to occasionally make things like skin tones look a little warmer, for instance. When it comes to those HDR shots, the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3 are still slightly better than the P20 Pro, although it can be quite a close call on many occasions. You definitely get more uniform lighting with Google's phones though, which tend to capture plenty of detail in those darker moments without blowing out those lighter areas by accident. The results are still very strong on the Huawei phone, although you do occasionally get some slight oversaturation in those really tricky conditions. Of course, if you're taking a shot of a distant subject, the P20 Pro is the obvious victor, as it has that bonus telephoto lens, the big cheat. This gives you 3x optical zoom or a 5x hybrid zoom using some digital smarts mixed in. The results are basically pin shop detailed photos of whatever you need, even at a distance. The difference is most obvious when viewed back on a TV screen however. On a laptop display the Pixel phones still hold up well, certainly doing themselves justice. Now when the light starts to drop a little the Pixel phones shoot an impressively bright image, a quality matched by the P20 Pro. But while the Pixel phones still produce quite accurate colours as well which is no mean feat, those richer hues tend to fade a bit on the Huawei phone, definitely the exact opposite of what happens in daylight conditions. On the flip side the P20 Pro does suck up a bit more detail in those murky conditions so you get a significantly sharper photo compared with the Pixel 3 and Pixel 2. Oh and if you like shooting candles for whatever reason, the Pixel phones capture some very atmospheric photos with great dynamic range, while the P20 Pro again offers stronger detail instead. Now Google has promised that a snazzy new night mode is coming to the Pixel phones to really help out in those low light conditions as well, so I'll be interested to see what kind of results we get there. Definitely stay tuned for a full in-depth before and after test with Google's night mode when it lands. Now when it comes to portrait shots, you might expect the Pixel phones to again be inferior to the P20 Pro because it's got that single lens setup instead of the tri-lens setup. However, we found that those portrait shots came out just as well on the Pixel phones. The depth of focus was definitely very impressive. Your subject is pretty much always captured cleanly and crisply. And meanwhile, the background is washed away to great effect. Very impressive stuff indeed, although the P20 Pro is still a fan favourite in this area. We absolutely love some of the portrait shots you get with the P20 Pro, even hyperactive subjects like small children still come out generally well. A quick mention for the selfie cameras on these handsets as well. The Pixel 3 definitely beats the others here for wide angle shots thanks to its fresh new secondary front facing camera with a 97 degree view. 
Other than that, it's basically the same selfie snapper as found on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. They generally do a great job, although if the background is quite bright, sometimes your face does come out a little bit murky. Meanwhile, the P20 Pro does a better job of capturing your face, always ensuring that you're brightly lit, although that's often at the expense of background clarity. So basically the opposite of the Pixels. Now when it comes to the video, all three of these phones can shoot up to Ultra HD 4K level footage, which looks bloody lovely when you throw it up onto a telly. And all three phones seriously impressed with their video chops. The detail levels are perfectly good at Full HD and absolutely stunning at Ultra HD, with the respective lenses adapting nicely to changes in focus, contrast and everything else. Audio pickup is also strong no matter your choice, with minimal distortion from factors like the wind. Of course, the Pixel still impresses most when it comes to image stabilisation. All three phones here cope fine with Full HD stabilisation, but the Pixel 3, like the Pixel 2 before, it also has no trouble at that 4K level either. With the P20 Pro, sadly things get a little bit shaky at that top level, so you're definitely best off standing as still as possible while you're shooting. So that in a nutshell is how the new Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL compare with last year's Pixel 2 and the Huawei P20 Pro. As you can see, when it comes to the Pixel phones, there's very little difference between the 2 and the 3, apart from obviously that wide-angle selfie camera. So if you've got the 2 and you're wondering whether you should upgrade to the 3, mm, no. As for the P20 Pro, it has its weaknesses and its strengths when compared with those Pixels. In HDR conditions, Google's phones definitely win, and also when it comes to shooting the 4K footage, the Pixel phones offer fantastic image stabilisation. However, we really love the fact that you can manually tweak the colours on the Huawei P20 Pro. And of course you get a full Pro mode, something that you don't get on those Pixel phones, so you can tweak everything else, ISO, shutter speed, things like that. So let us know what you think in the comments down below, which smartphone snapper is best for you. Go check out my comparison of the Pixel 3 XL and the P20 Pro and the OnePlus 6 if you want to see how those three great Android phones stack up against one another. And stay tuned for lots more in-depth coverage with the likes of the Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL and Huawei's new Mate 20 series as well. Cheers everyone, love you, bye!